The goal of this screencast is to demonstrate how to calculate solid liquid equilibria. For the example, I'm going to use figure 1412, which is a phase diagram involving benzene and phenol. The plot is in terms of the mole fraction of phenol. Therefore, even though the caption uses benzene as component 1, I'm going to choose phenol as component 1 so that our compositions that we calculate agree with what we see on the diagram axis. The dashed line here is the prediction from ideal solution behavior. The solid line is from UNIFAC and agrees quite well with the experimental data. Let's discuss the strategy and then write a MATLAB program to solve for the phase diagram. The governing equation is equation 1424, which relates the mole fraction and activity coefficient, or activity, to the heat of fusion and the melting temperature. The subscript I means that we relate these for the same component. The expression can be rearranged into an objective function that should go to zero, shown in the second equation. This is the form that I will implement it in MATLAB. You can see that various types of problems can be constructed. If I am given x, I could be asked to find the temperature at which that solubility limit is reached. If I'm given a temperature, I could be able I could be asked to find the solubility composition. Let's discuss the strategy to find a solubility composition at a given temperature. If you understand this, you can understand how to generalize this into the second type of problem. So first we would set up the constants in the program, such as the temperature, the melting temperature, and heat of fusion for the component that we're interested in having precipitate. I would then call the F0 command, and here I'm going to call the objective function find x. I will pass it an initial guess for x1. Within the function, I first set the composition for both components. I then call a function to calculate the activity coefficients at that composition and temperature. Here I'm assuming that gamma is returned as a vector. I then calculate the objective function, which I call error in this code, using the heat of fusion and the melting temperature for the component that is precipitating. You can see that error will go to zero when the equation is satisfied. So let's see how this works in MATLAB. I have constructed here a MATLAB code that will solve for either solubility of phenol or solubility of benzene. I'm going to enter the heat of fusion and melting temperature for both components. You must be careful with units, especially with heat of fusion, and so I convert the units next. For the example, I'm going to use UNIFAC, and so I set up the component array. I then perform the call to UNIFAC setup to look up the pure component parameters. Next, I do a little bit more parameter setup here to convert units, and I provide an initial guess for the composition. I'm going to calculate the solubility at 25 degrees Celsius. Let's look at the diagram again to see what we should expect. 25 degrees Celsius is in this range, and we would expect the solubility to be about between 75 and 80 percent phenol. Here my initial guess is 40%, but the program should be self-correcting. Alright, so then I use the F0 command. Let me look at my function. As I described, we're going to convert the composition to a vector. We're going to calculate the gammas, in this case using UNIFAC. Anything can be used. And I've created two objective functions here one for use for phenol and one for benzene. 
In this case, I'm going to run the code for phenol, so I will comment out the objective function for benzene. After F0 runs, I display the compositions and the activity coefficients that were found. Let me dock this and then we'll, we will run it. Okay, I've got it docked and so let's run. Okay, you can see that the solver had some trouble. I ended up with not a number. So let's just change our initial guess. Perhaps this was just too small. And now we can run again. And there we are. At 25 degrees C, Unifac predicts a solubility of 78% phenol, and the activity coefficient you can see is near 1. This is the behavior that we would expect. The activity coefficients being near 1 indicates the ideal solution result should be close to the actual result. Let's change the temperature to 5 degrees C, where we expect a solubility near 40, close to 50 percent. So I change the temperature and I run. And you can see 40, 45 percent. I can change to the other component. And I'll just leave this at zero degrees. We'll see if the 40% guess or 60%. Oh, I'm going to lower this. All right. And there you can see a prediction of 16% phenol. All right. And if I go back to the diagram at zero degrees C, that looks about right.